Para pa pa pa. I'm loving it. Perfect. I consumed McDonald's for an entire week. 21,200 calories later and about 900 grams of fat, I can safely say I will never consume McDonald's in my life again. As we do here on YouTube, we like to follow trends and one that's popping is the 24 hour McDonald's challenge. I'm gonna be eating only McDonald's for the next 24 hours. So I decided for the next 24 hours of my life, I will only consume McDonald's. You think I should eat nothing but McDonald's for the whole day? 24 hours eating nothing but McDonald's. Eating McDonald's for 24 hours and me, being me, tried to do this for an entire week. What's going to happen if I add six more days to this diet? The results are shocking and I think this video will be entertaining and informative. So for your boy, drop it a huge thumbs up. I think it will inspire an entire new series that I'll do on this channel. If you guys love this one, I'll definitely do it again. And also, do your boy a favor and comment down below which restaurant or fast food chain I should do next. But, let's go back to day one. Day one was more free range. I ate anything and everything I wanted. And then the next six days, I tried to diet down, eating McDonald's only. The results are interesting. Let's kick it back to day one. Kiss me while we driving. This breakfast, we're waiting for someone who's gonna join me on this crazy challenge. And I believe she can eat a lot more than I can. Let's wait for her. And there right. she is. Are you ready? Oh, are you gonna out eat me today? Um, most please, probably. Please, please don't do it. I'm not gonna lie, please most don't, probably. Please don't do it. Alright, let's go to McDonald's, guys. This is Stephanie. Hey. Stephanie's gonna be doing the challenge as well. First link in the description. Enjoy! My idea today is ramp my calories up. One, we have Nutty Foodie Fitness here. The girl can eat and go let out easy. She probably will still. So first meal we have is a bagel which I already took a bite off from the thumbnail. What was this? Um, McMuffin, a double egg McMuffin with bacon. We have some pancakes, some hash browns. I'll be tracking my calories today. The idea is to ramp it up as high as possible. Just so one, I get my metabolism going and two, to enjoy the day. And then throughout the week, we'll get more healthier options. Can we eat? Because we've been trying to take a thumbnail for a minute. Have we? Yeah. Um, push-pull legs program so the frequency should be about five to six workouts within the week but today we got Stephanie with us we're gonna do back and biceps apparently <laughs> she never changed biceps but she's doing it for the sake of the video and for your boy let's do it <laughs> Going for our second meal of McDonald's, lunchtime. Stephanie says she's hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> she's starving. I feel bad for this girl because <laughs> it's about every hour she updates her Instagram and she's eating something else. It's been about four. Let's go. Guys, do you know what Mike just said to me? Mike was like, oh, this McDonald's looks nice. Yeah, that... Go for some fine dining now. <laughs> the other one was ghetto fabulous. <laughs> Let's go. When she eats more than you do, <laughs> I have a Jamaican chicken burger, large fries, and an Oreo, and a Sprite Zero. Oh, 
Meal number two done. We're headed to Oxford Circus. I'm finna sleep though, bro. <laughs> Man up. Circus in London, and we're going to get our third meal. And probably my last one for today because I am feeling sluggish and feeling tired from all the food. I think it's the high fat content and the sodium that's been in the food. But let's see what happens. So, because of Stephanie, this is the last cheat, McDonald's wise. So we have a chicken spicy Cajun, we have the spicy balls, and we have some Ori McFlurries here. What did you get? <laughs> I didn't get the spicy balls. <laughs> I got um, a chocolate, chocolate muffin, and I've got a vanilla milkshake, and I'm thinking this is the snack before dinner. So I collected a number of data for this entire video. I spent roughly 90 pounds within the week, $116, and that was a 37% increase in terms of the amount of money I spent or allocate to my groceries. I also tracked my weight and my body progress throughout the week. My initial weight is... So these are my stats. It says that I'm on 33% body fat, 43% water weight, and 30.6% muscle density, 194 pounds. I am up in weight by 0.8 pounds. And my weight went up between 0.5 and 1 pound on each and every single day. Although the first day was very high calorie, on the second day it was shocking to find out that the healthiest options at McDonald's I could get here in Russia was a Caesar salad. First meal back in Moscow and I have done an Uber Eats because I need to do work. From Uber Eats I could only order a Big Mac but I've reduced all the sauces so it's rather plain. You just find the burger and the salad. I've also got a Caesar's roll which has also reduced the sources for fat's sake and I also got a cheeseburger with just the burger and the patty. I'm gonna estimate the macros here but this is my first meal and I fasted until 2. I fell asleep hungry, woke up, I was able to fast, I still have coffees just because it's my routine, I guess coffee is allowed. So I intermittent fast and this is probably the healthiest thing I've had in the past three days. I have been feeling super bloated and also like just sluggish and slow. I don't, the only thing I realized that it's different between when I was in the UK is that Russia doesn't have that many option for healthier options at McDonald's. That was the only healthy option I could get. It was actually better just to stick to the burgers. So I ended up always getting a roll, a chicken roll, a McDonald's burger and a double cheeseburger without any sauce so I could combat or decrease the amount of fat and the way I felt was absolutely terrible. A recurring theme throughout every single week was a throbbing headache. So, I think this McDonald's video will probably be one of the most interesting videos I've ever done. Just because of the feeling I feel. I feel awful. Shit. I do this type of cardio all the time. Nothing too intense. 360 calories in 30 minutes and my heart is pumping like crazy and that's because of all the sodium in the food but it's gonna be a good one i felt sluggish i felt slow i felt unmotivated and i also just felt like something was holding me down my mood would swing and i was just wondering what is in this food that makes you feel this way and i can't tell you guys how much i felt like quitting on every single day is fast food really that bad for you? I mean, what would happen if I ate nothing but McDonald's for 30 days straight? In the course of my McDiet, I consumed 30 pounds of sugar from their food. That's a pound a day. On top of that, I also took in 12 pounds of fat. In only 30 days of eating nothing but McDonald's, I gained 24 and a half pounds. My liver turned to fat, and my cholesterol shot up 65 points. 
My body fat percentage went from 11 to 18%. After a week of eating McDonald's, I wanted to find out what is in this food that makes you feel so bad. And I found number one, the sodium explains the headaches. If you order two Big Mac burgers, you're already going over the recommended amount of sodium you're supposed to per day. American Heart Association recommends 1,500 milligrams and you can get that in just two Big Macs, which is absolutely insane and explains my headaches. But then I asked myself, Mike, what is in the food that makes me feel so sluggish and so slow and that has these mood swings? And I saw that only this year in 2018, McDonald's has now stopped putting preservatives in their popular burgers. One of them, calcium propionate. Research has been done that kids are restless, are finding it sleepless and have a lot of mood changes with that calcium propionate in it. They've also removed a thing called sorbic acid, which is also responsible for preserving the burgers and not bringing in mold, but it has been found that some people are allergic to them, which can explain some of the bloat along with the other preservatives in the book. I then read that there's a burger that's been documented to have been preserved for 14 years. And still looks edible. McDonald's produces their burgers in a certain way that allows their preservation for a long time. If you have spoiled food, that is bad turnover in terms of how much revenue you're grossing your company in that year. The fact that McDonald's is willing to not put in these normal things in your food and being able to preserve them longer tells you what they value in terms of what you can eat and how much they want to make per year, which is absolutely insane. I'll leave it there guys. I think I've just scratched the surface in terms of this entire experiment But it just opened my eyes into what is being put in the foods and what you're putting into your body on a daily basis I'll never do that again, but for my efforts guys Drop your boy a thumbs up because that was one of the craziest things I've ever done and I felt awful So drop your boy a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. if you're new to the channel, please subscribe Let me know in the comments which one you guys want me to do next if I do do it and I'll see you guys in the next one.